Hello everyone, I am Kushal Jain and this is Shaij Prakama. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So today we are going to discuss 5 tools that I use in order to increase my productivity. And I can assure you, if you use these tools, your productivity will definitely going to increase. So let's jump right into it. So the first tool today we are going to discuss is also the sponsor of today's video that is Tab9. I have been using Tab9 since a long time now and you might have noticed it during the programming tutorials as well. Tab9 is an AI code completion tool which is being used globally by untrusted by more than 1 million developers across various programming languages like JavaScript, Python, TypeScript, PHP, Java, C++ and many more and includes support to more than 30 languages over across 15 integrated development environments like VS Code, Android Studio, PyCharm, Sublime Text and VM as well. I personally use PyCharm uh, to, to write code and you can see I am already using Tab9 in my PyCharm IDE. Let me show you with a small example how powerful Tab9 is. Tab9 is based on OpenAI's GP2 model which is a textual model so it can complete and understand natural text too as you can see the suggestions and not just code it will help you to you know suggest completions of to-do comments which you add in your IT environment. For example, if I will add this function, it will help me to give suggestions and the suggestion will be very accurate and fast as well. It will give me, it is giving me 4 suggestions at a time because I have customized my tab 9 hub which I will show you in a moment. So you see how amazing suggestions are there. So if, if you click on tab 9, you will move to the tab 9 hub. Here is the place where you can customize your things. So I am using the pro version right now. And it allows me to customize the things, uh, customize my preferences, advanced customization. I'm using the Deep Completion Cloud model as well. Further, you can use Deep Completion models over cloud as well as in your local machine. If I talk about the pricing, Tab9 offers a free forever plan with limited number of daily completion and a basic completion model. But if you go for a pro version, you will have unlimited number of code completion. It will allow you to do customization and it will also provide priority support. You can use my link in the description to get a 50% off on a 12th month plan of uh, Tab9 Pro version. If I talk about the privacy of the code, so Tab9 never uses your code for anything. They just use your code to uh, compute your predictions and to fulfill your queries. And that too, they store your data for a very less amount of time. Once the queries are fulfilled, when the predictions are done, they remove your data from their servers. There is an optional cloud configuration. The cloud configuration serves model from GPU powered servers. Tab9 sends block from your code to the servers so that they can help you to provide deep completion suggestions. These block of code will never be stored and they will be you know, deleted once the uh, predictions are being done. I specifically laid down the complete privacy policy. Tab9 helps you to code faster and therefore saving a lot of time of yours. Further, it will be served inside your ID environment so you don't have to distract anywhere, there will be no downtime. Further, it will help you to clear your code reviews as well. You can see how amazing Tab9 is and how popular it is among the developer community. So you can see the example where on the left hand side you will see without Tab9 code completions and with Tab9 code completions. You will see how fast it is. So the Tab9 model is trained on 2 million GitHub pages from licensed high ranked contemporary repositories. This way they have made Sure, the Tab9 is familiar with the vast variety of code patterns, methods, and libraries developers use usually. Tab9 also use deep learning to get familiar with developers' projects and libraries, so that the more you use it, the better code uh, completions it will provide to you, and the longer you use it, the more accurate code completion will be provided to you. Further, the registered users can enable the Tab9 cloud, which uses GPU accelerated cloud servers, and it will help you to make more faster, accurate, and effective code completions. Tab9 provides a free forever basic plan as I've already mentioned and on the Pro you can get a 50% off which uses advanced models and provides unlimited number of completions. So do check it out from the link in the description. So I hope you got the idea how useful Tab9 is. So do make sure to check out the free version and if you want to buy the Pro version do make sure to use my coupon uh, and you can use it by using the link in the description. You will get a 50% off on the Pro version for 12 months. So do check it out and uh, let me know in the comment section if you are already using it and uh, let's move on to our next uh, tool. So the second tool that I use is Google Task. It's a simple and effective tool that you can use to manage and monitor your day-to-day -day routine task. 
or to do's that you used to do uh, on a daily basis. So what I used to do in the morning, I used to add the, all the things that I want to do during the day in that task app and Google Task provides you the facility to add reminders to it. It also provides you the facility to add description to the task so you don't have to remember what you know difficult things if there are difficult things in, involved in that particular task you don't have to remember or mug up all those things you just have to write the description into it further it also provides you the ability to add sub task inside task so which is also a great feature it also provides you the feature of setting the reminders in time so you don't miss anything which you already decided as soon as the task are finished you can tick them correct and that will be moved to the completed list and uh, you can always monitor what things are left for the day and what things are already done google task also provides you the ability to create multiple list which will help you to segregate your tasks on a daily basis so do make sure to check it out let's move on to our third tool that is git git is a version control system and you might have heard about it already either the case would be you might have already been using it or you have heard about git but you are afraid of using it so let me tell you it's a very simple tool to use git is a version control system which can be used along with different code hosting platforms like github gitlab or bitbucket uh, in order to collaborate over different projects so git is very easy to use you can install git from their website and you just have to right click and open the git bash window let me zoom in to give you a small example as well so git has been used by the developer com community across the globe and if you're still afraid of using git with github you can check out my beginner level tutorial series it will help you to understand the theory as well as give you the hands on experience over git along with github so do check it out the link will be in the description or it will come in the i button above so it's, here is a small example how amazing git uh, is it will help you to you know collaborate with other people around the globe or in your company uh, working over a single project it will help you to manage different versions of the project and uh, track changes which are happening by different people over the same project do let me know if you are using git gui version or git terminal version in the comment section Do check out my GitHub profile as well. You'll find some amazing stuff over it. And here you can see our latest commit has added the new file that is internettest.py. And here is our latest commit, which is one minute ago. So let's move on to our next tool. So let's move on to our fourth tool that is Draw.io. Draw.io is an amazing tool that I don't think you might have came across. If you already you know know this tool or using it, do let me know in the comment section. Whether you are a working professional or a college student, most of the time you are involved in building some kind of project. Draw.io provides you a large variety of templates based on different different categories like businesses, engineering, cloud, which will help you to create class diagrams, ERD diagrams, database uh, relationship diagrams. If you're working on a web project, it will help you to you know design the request routing as well. If you're working on the complete architecture of a project, it will help you to design the complete architecture design of the project. As you can see, as I have chosen Azure uh, Azure template, it is showing me template related icons as well and the general icons as well and there are a lot of lot of icons which you can use to build different different diagram based on uh, your use case so in front of your screen you can see an example how the routing is being done the complete ar architecture of a uh, system as you can see as you can see there are a lot of variety of icons and shapes and everything that you can use in order to build your architecture diagram so let's see with an example how a web app can interact with the database and sends out the data again. So you just have to write the desired icon that you want and it will provide you the, you know, the variety of icons. To see how cool it is, it will make an impact if you use these diagrams in order to make others explain your thought process. 
The fifth tool in the list is an editor or an IDE. Text editor, for example, VS Code or Atom or Sublime Text or IDE in that stands for Integrated Development Environment, for example, Eclipse or PyCharm. My favorite is PyCharm and I'm using it since a long time now. Now, if I talk about IDEs or Integrated Development Environment, I've been using PyCharm since a long, long time and it is helping me a lot. And you also might be using some text editor or IDE in order to build your projects. It also provides the facility of terminal, it also adds version control, it also provides console window. Further, you can add to do's anywhere in the ID. IDs also provide extensions and plugins which will uh, make your life easier. For example, if I talk about JSON Prettify, it is an extension that you can use in order to prettify JSON. Many of, the, many of the times, web developers and Android developers work with JSON data and in order to see things more clearly, make things more readable, you can use the JSON Prettify extension. Tab9 is also one of the extension that I have been using and it is amazing. As you can see, the number of stars is huge, 8.3k over GitHub. The number of views is also huge, that is 4.3 million on YouTube and a huge following over Twitter as well. So this is not the end. There are a lot many tools that I use in order to, you know, manage my day-to-day -day routine or to increase my productivity on day-to-day -day basis. For example, Grammarly is one of the amazing tools that I'm using since a long time. I don't even remember from when I'm using it. Secondly, GitHub projects. There are other project management tools like Jira, Trello, GitHub projects, and they are really amazing. I personally prefer GitHub projects because it is free of cost, obviously. Jira and Trello are really amazing. They have a bit more features as compared to GitHub projects, but GitHub projects, I didn't find the need to move to Trello or Jira. Although I have used them, but GitHub projects is enough for your you know, call projects and even for uh, professional projects as well. Other tools like Bitwarden, Hacker News, Postman, these are some of the tools that I use on a daily basis and they help me to you know, fulfill my task on, uh, pretty accurately, fast and effectively as well. So let me know in the comment section if you're already using any of these tools or if you're using any other tool that I have not mentioned here. I would love to hear that and I will definitely check it out. And do make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also use my coupon code on tab9. The link is in the description. It will help you to get 50% off on the pro version of tab9. If you're not buying a pro version, do try the free version. It is amazing and you'll, uh, you'll see how useful it is. So that's all for today. Let's meet on some other video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.